Welcome back to our live show. It's snowing in the studio this morning. <laughs> and now that we have your attention there, we're making snow globes, just to be clear. It's a fun and creative way to craft a gift for the holidays. Jordan Brown is here from the Visual Arts Center of Richmond to show us how it's done. It's great to see you. Great to see you. Thanks for having us. It's our pleasure. Director of Education. So you have the, the opportunity to work with folks coming in to learn all sorts of fun, new, amazing things at Visual Arts Center of Richmond. Exactly, yeah. The Visual Arts Center has been around for over 50 years and we have um, over 15 different studios in the building, all different media, and we offer classes to the community from as little as five years old all the way on up. Um, and we just like to invite people to try something new or expand upon their creative practices that they're already doing. So this would be new for me. I've never <laughs> made a snow globe. You've got an event Friday night and this is one of the many activities that, mm -hmm. that folks can get involved in. Yeah, Friday night we're having, um, it's called Present Factory, and we have it every year, and it's an community open house that's entirely free. And we open up our studios to the community and invite people to come in and just sample what we have to offer and make things that are really accessible, really fun, things that they can give as gifts. So even I can do this, probably. Everyone can do this. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> let's put it together. You've already got us well on our way. Yeah, here. got us well on our way. So um, snow globes can be made at home, and you can make them out of all sorts of different things. I've brought some examples, but basically all you need to start with is some sort of jar. This is just a regular old mason jar. Um, you can see these around a lot mm -hmm. right now. And then you just gather all sorts of fun things that you might want to put inside. So I've got everything from like reindeer to dinosaurs, um, jingle bells, all sorts of things. You can also get really creative and draw things or take photographs and laminate them, mm -hmm. and those can be placed inside too. So you've done that here. Uh -huh. Those are pictures and or a little handicrafting if you mm -hmm. like your handwriting. <laughs> and then, uh, where are we? There we are. <laughs> and uh, then, see, voila, you can put them in the snow globe. Exactly. That's really cool. And it's super simple to put together. Um, all you have to do is take your little objects. You have to have a hot glue gun, so you know, if you're working with kids, maybe you should do this part. Um, and you basically just glue them to the lid. So like with these guys, I started this, and then all you do is kind of set it in here, and then you got your snow globe here. So to make the snow. Jordan, before we go too far, and yeah. for the record, she unplugged the hot glue gun because she was worried about my handicraft <laughs> skills, so we won't be gluing anything. You've done all the heavy lifting here, mm -hmm. but the, when you said you need the jar, you also need that lid and the little Mm -hmm. Duber, exactly. whatever that thing. The, yeah, I the don't rest know the technical the term for Duber. that. That's what it is today. <laughs> but that's the base for putting all your goodies and making mm -hmm. your scene. Exactly. Okay. And you glued and you got to let it dry. Do I have to let that dry a long time before I start making the no. inside part? Yeah, this hot glue, as long as it's set and it's all cool, then you're good to go. Okay, swell. So then you've got this all ready to go, you've got your jar, and then all you do is you just add a little bit of glitter in, and I know glitter can get really messy, so. That's why it's awesome to do it at the Visual Arts Center of Richmond, so it doesn't exactly. end up all over my living room. <laughs> and so you just put a little bit of silver and white, whatever you've got. And this is actually um, glycerin. It's the same thing you put in soap. Mm -hmm. um, you can buy it at almost every craft store. And you put a little bit of this in. This does a couple things. It helps kind of thicken the water a little bit. So you get that nice slow snowfall. And oh, then so you just put a little dab in just there. Just a little bit, yeah. And then um, it also keeps the water clean so that nothing grows in your snow globe, okay. so that it stays really clear. Because you don't want to make a Exactly. So you just algae pour some water in. I think I've got just about enough. That's already pretty. This is like a minimalist snow globe right there, right, and I'm already entranced this. by that. <laughs> and then what you do is you take whatever you've made and you put it in. Wow. You screw on the top. Okay, super duper. And you make sure it's really tight mm -hmm. so that nothing comes out. So it doesn't flip it snow over. Not all exactly. over the... And then you just flip it over. There it is. You and did it. And then you've got it. So this is a great evening on Friday to spend with the family, go and make some really cool, this is, uh, you said, one of 15-ish activities? Uh, we have 15 studios, and I believe we'll have about eight different workshops. We'll also have some artist demonstrations going on, and some of our students will be selling their work, too, so you can actually buy some things there, too. And it's all part of the present factory. That's the present idea Present factory, here. yeah. And these are some examples of some other things that we'll be making. We'll be making hand-printed, um, Wrapping paper, we have our letterpress studio where you can hand print gift tags and cards. We'll be making really adorable origami ornaments. 
um, playing with shrinky dinks, mm -hmm. which maybe a lot of people haven't done in a long time, but it's really fun. Again, I've heard of them. I've never made a shrinky dink, <laughs> but I was drooling over these adorable gift tags. They're letterpress, which means they're fancy and it's kind of pressed in there, mm -hmm. and you can make those. You can make those. We'll also have our ceramic studio open where you can work with clay and have a great time there. So there's lots of options. Wow. The doors of the world just opened <laughs> today. I've made a snow globe. Thank you so much, Jordan. I You're appreciate welcome. it. That was yeah, really thank cool. You. A lot of fun to be had on Friday. The Present Factory is part of the Visual Arts Center of Richmond's annual holiday open house. It's coming up on Friday, December 2nd from 5 to 8 p.m. It's a free event, so the price is just right. It's taking place at 1812 West Main Street here in Richmond. For all the information, we'll have a link on our show website, wtvr.com slash vtm.